All right. I gotta get this video up and out. It is going to be a BB Crab collaboration and my first video for this time. All right, so what I'm gonna show you is this right angle weave bracelet. This is five, one, two, three, four, five rows, but I'm only gonna show you the three rows. That would be the silver, the blue, and the silver. This one is on a box clasp, but we're gonna find something that's going to be just on the three there. So what I'm gonna use is 11-0 seed beads. They're check beads. And I'm gonna use two millimeter electroplated um, rondelles. It's the first time I'm using these rondelles on this. These are the electroplated blue in a three millimeter, I think. But we're going to try it with this. If it doesn't work, I will change. So this is fairly simple. And all we're going to do is pick up four of your seed beads. One, two, three, four. We're going to drop them down to the end. And I'm going to leave a little bit of tail in case I need it to weave in my class of sorts. So I'm going to go through all four beads again. And then I'm going to tie it, put a uh, surgeon's knot in it. Make sure that it goes down and makes a, we're going to do a square. It looks something like that. Okay. And I am going to go through the next seed bead just to get away from that knot. We're going to go up into the next seed bead and we're going to pull. Okay. We're going to pick up three. And a right angle weave is always four beads. So I'm, I'm coming out of that one and there's three. That makes four. And we're just going to make a complete circle. We're going to step out of that one. We're going to go up into the next one. We're just going to go around until we come right back out of that top one right there. Okay. We're going to pick up three. One, two, three. We're coming out this way now. We're going to go around like that and pull through. We're going to go through the side bead. And we're going to go through that side, the outside bead. Okay. We're going to do that again. Pick up three beads. One, two, three. We're going to go through that's on the top this time. We're going to go through this side. We're going to go around. And go through that side bead so we can get to this end bead right here. Right there. And pull. We're going to continue doing this. One, two, three. Now it's down here. We're going to go up here and go through like that. Pull. Go through this bead. And come out this top up here. 
we're always going to go around and come out the end bead. So I'm going to continue doing that until I get the length that I want. And this bracelet is six and a half inches. Um, with our little prongs, it is six and a half inches, should be. So with our class, it'll be almost seven inches. All right, so I'm going to do um, six inches of this and I'll be back. Let's try this again. <laughs> We're always going to add a rondelle and a seed bead. It doesn't matter which side you land on. So it's a rondelle, a seed bead, a rondelle, a seed bead. So we've got the rondelle and a seed bead. So now we're going to put a rondelle and a seed bead. I'm going to go through the rondelle and the seed bead and come around. Okay. We're going to go through this rondelle. So that's one bead. We're going to be going through this one, so that's two beads. So we need a bead and a rondelle. A seed bead and a rondelle. We're going to go through this bead, seed bead. We're going to go through the rondelle. We go through this seed bead. And we go through this rondelle. So we're doing the same thing, but this time we're adding rondelles. So we're going to go through this seed bead there. So that's two beads. We need a rondelle and a seed bead. So we're going to pick up a rondelle and a seed bead. We're going to go through the rondelle and the seed bead and give it a pull and we're going to go through the rondelle so this time we're going to need a seed bead a rondelle a seed bead and a rondelle we're going to go through this one right here on the side we're going to go through this rondelle. We're going to come through this seed bead because we want to end up right here. Give it a pull. So that's our first bead. We're going to go through this side bead. It's number two. We need a rondelle and a seed bead. So we pick up a rondelle and a seed bead. We're going to go through the rondelle and the seed bead and give it a pull. We're going to go through the rondelle, straighten it back up. Now we're on this side, so we're going to need a seed bead and a rondelle. Seed bead and a rondelle. We're going to go through this bead and the rondelle and give it a pull. We're going to go through that seed bead and come right back up into that rondelle. Right into the rondelle. We're going to do that all the way down and I'll be back when we get down here. All right. I had to add more thread and I will weave that in when we come back at the end. So we're down here at the end now. And we're coming out of this side bead right there. So to end it, we are going to put two beads is all we're going to put. So I'm going to go through this 
go through there. Go through this one. I'm going to give it a little tug. And I'm going to go through it one more time just because it's the end and we're going to be putting a clasp on the neck on the next one. Go through that one. Go through that one. Go through that one. And we can come out the side bead. Now I want to come out over here on this bead. And we're going to do a row just like this one. So I'm going to go up. And any way that you like to hold it in your hand. I like to hold it because I like to work down. So here we're on the um, glass bead, which is on the side there. So we're going to pick up three beads. One, two, three. And we're going to go into this bead right here. And it's going to look something like that. We're going to step up into this bead and then we're going to start our way down. So remember again, we're going to try to come out. We're going to always come out this bead right here on the side. That bead right there. So all the way down is going to be that bead right there. So I didn't do that right. I should have been coming out that side bead. Sorry about that. Go up into that side bead. I mean the... Okay, there. Now, there you go. So now we're doing our fours. So there's one bead there. We need this bead and we need this bead. So got one, this bead two, this bead three, that bead four. So we're going to pick up two beads. One, two. We're going to go up into this bead. Go across into that bead there. It's the first set of four we put on. We'll pull through. Come out through that side bead there. Pull through. Go through this front bead right there. And we start all over again with having four. Okay. So we're coming out that bead right there. So that's one. That's two. We need the floor bead and the side bead. So we need we need to come through this side bead here. That's two. Three and four. Go back through that bead and come out through this side bead. And now that floor bead is a ceiling bead. So we're going to go through the ceiling. Give it a little tug. And that's where we're at right now. We're coming out that one right there. So we got this one and this one is two beads. So we need the side bead and the floor bead. We're going to go up into this bead here, which is a wall bead. And that's one thing about it, your thread will always get caught on every little thing. So let's pull this through. All right. So I came through the wall bead. Now we're going to go through the ceiling, which is now the floor bead. Pull through. Go through this bead here.
go through this bead here. It's just like the one we did over here. Go through this side bead. We've got two beads there. We're going to pick up two beads. We're going to go through this bead and this bead, make a circle. And we're going to come out to this bead. And we're going to do that all the way back down. And when I get down to the end, I'll show you what we're going to do next. All right. I finished it off with four down here. And I worked my way back around and I'm getting up here. So this center bead right there, I got one bead and I want to put five be four beads on it. So one, two, three, four. Because we're going to make this little daisy like right there. So there's the four beads and the one on there makes five. So I'm going to go through this, go through that center bead there, pull, and I'm going to go around these five beads until I cannot stick a needle through there again. So probably four times maybe not always going to get through all of them so so this is going to be the second time going to be the third time. We already went through that center bead a couple of times, so we may not. We'll just have to try. It's the third time. Yeah, that's going to be the last time. So I could only go around four times. So now, with what you have left, weave in and out as much as you, until we run out of this. And then we're going to do the same thing down here. We're going to put five beads on this end. And then we're going to look for a class. So, weaving in and out. I came out of that bead. Follow the bead path. Like this bead is um, going this way. So we go through that. And I try to do the outside beads. Because those are the ones that's going to take um, the most beading. So go up. Go over. Just follow the bead path. Down, around, up, and that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to get rid of all of this and then I'll be right back and we'll figure out what class we're going to put on. All right. All right, so just weave in and out and use up your thread. Okay, let's finish this up. On this bracelet, I have five rows. So I put a box clasp on this one. And I do like box clasps. 
That's what that looks like. But since I only done one row, I think I'm going to put a um, ball in socket because it's just a dainty one. So this would be just like a little tiny tennis bracelet. So, so I got two jump rings, my clasp, and my bracelet. And I'm going to use round nose pliers and some uh, flat nose, I guess that's what they're called. So when you open up a jump ring, there's a little space there. You always want to twist your jump rings. You never want to pull them apart. You want to twist them open like that. So I'm going to pick up my ball and socket go through that and remember the daisy spacer what I call a daisy spacer that we made we're going to go through that position it right back again and we're going to pull it back around like we had it and you want to Make sure it clicks. When it clicks, that means you've got it back. There's no space. All right. So let's go ahead and do the other one. Let's open it up. Open it up like that. Pick up our other end, put it on there, pick up this end, Whoa. Okay, let's do that again, straighten it out, make sure we got the right, I won't go this way, sorry about that. that on there. Well, let's try this one more time. Pick this one up. Put it on there like that. Have a hold of it. Get your two pliers and put it back together. And check to make sure there's nothing sticking out. And you're done. So this is just a There you go. Put it back together. You just hook it on there like that. And there you go. Now if you want to add a dangle to it, you could put them right there. But there you go. You got a nice little bracelet. Just like that. Thank you for watching.